Hi friends, welcome to Engineering Clinic. So today we are going to see a topic on Virtual Programming Laboratory. It's a tool for a compilation of uh, programs through Moodle. So in this case, first is the step being how to install the VPN jail server installation. So this is the step number one that we are going to see. So then after that, uh, the step two will be so uh, Moodle plugin for VPN for VPL software so that we have so that we can able to install or we can able to uh, create an activity within Moodle for online uh, exams particularly for programming languages so many programming languages are supported we will see all those things okay so my server configuration is server configuration is, so we need to have a separate server so the server configuration is 16 GB RAM and a 16 core processor so it is intel xeon processor intel xeon so we have uh, it's running on a virtual machine virtual machine and uh, the my ubuntu operating system is 20.04 20.04 64 bit os so this is what my configuration of uh, my server configuration uh, where i am going to install this vpl jail server okay so to download the software so download the software you can use yes so this is a virtual uh, thing so download we have so this is the url to download so control c i'll give the url here okay so from here you can download and you can download this software so copy link address so i am just having it in my remote machine so i am just doing it so go to the terminal wget hyphen c and paste it so once you are done the software is downloaded the software seems to be very small software so just only uh, software of just only 159 kilobytes so you need not bother about it just 159 kilobytes it's a very small software but it can download the other softwares when we install it so to unzip it so the command here is tar zxvf vpl jail system so this is the unzip so you can see that uh, it just have that in here so vpl so cd vpl jail system 2.7.2 so once it is done so here we have this uh, software here so now we have to uh, have a configuration here configuration here we have install vpl sh here and install vnc accelerator so we have very many things here so to start with we can go with installing this vpl sh so sudo you can use it dot slash vpl in sorry install install vpl dot sh okay so now it will be updating the apt package manager and updating the distribution software databases then after that it will be installing one by one package so you need to have a standard internet connectivity as well as uh, you need to be patient enough to download all the softwares okay so now it is installing so it, it install all the required softwares as well as it will be uh, downloading all the programming languages uh, compilations also so whatever programming language comes by default everything will be installed by the software So during the installation, the software might be asking you to go for a SSL encryption for your uh, domain name for this VPL. Uh, better you click no, later on you can able to add the security certificates. So now what are the languages to be installed you can see here. So it will be installing ADA, then Assembler, C, C++, C Sharp, DDD, Fortran, GDB, Haskell, Java, JUnit, Node.js, Octave, Pascal, Perl, PHP, Python, Ruby, Scala scheme tcl valgrid so all these things install and clicking it yes other development software also we have clips closure cobol coffee script d erlang like this click yes even vhdl also there so now the installation is almost over so then after that it will be asking you two softwares kotlin and jcrasp so better you can give no instead of giving it yes so once it is done the uh, it will give you an option to start and stop the vpl jail system so the command is system control system ctl space start space 
first we check the status status vpl hyphen jail system once you give it you can see that there's an active uh, in green color you can see there's something um, shown as active so this indicates that the vpl jail system is uh, running perfect perfectly fine so in case we want to stop it you can stop so yeah you can i am just doing stop now now it will be asking for authentication for your linux machine so give your username and password since I have two user accounts, so it is asking for uh, either one. So then again, you can see the status now, and now it is inactive. You can see here, and again, you can able to start it. So this is the method to start and stop the VPN jail system. So this way, we can able to, able to easily start and stop the servers. Now next is how we can able to do that in Moodle. So this is what we are going to see in the next system. And to check uh, whether the vpl is working or not in the browser just you can do uh, the ip address slash ok so capital o and capital k and uh, if ok in the browser indicates that uh, the successful installation is done so next is how to install the plugin in moodle so there is a plugin called as virtual programming laboratory so you can see the link here i'll be giving the link uh, below the description you can use it and uh, the plugin you will be downloading a zip file so that uh, compressed file or the zip file you can copy it to the moodle slash mod folder so mod is a module so inside this folder you can copy it so your reference path to moodle could be uh, anywhere that's why i am not giving that so now you can see i am just unzipping it in the command sudo unzip order because usually that uh, folder will be a read only folder so i am just giving the sudo command to unzip it once unzipping is done uh, so you just go to the moodle server so just login with the administrator login so once you log in with the administrator login automatically uh, the first this you can see this page so this is to enable the database tables for the virtual programming laboratory so click continue and you can see that the virtual programming lab plugin is been activated now and it will be asking to upgrade the module database now so once you upgrade it uh, the virtual programming laboratory will be upgraded so that's all it's done but after that there is a slight settings we have to give the server's name we have to provide it in Moodle. So the installation got over. Now we can see here, uh, you can able to set the settings. So what is the maximum upload file size, then maximum execution time. So because uh, so since it is an online coding thing, so whenever a student write a program, he may uh, you, he may create, uh, I mean, in the infinite loop also. So in that case, uh, your system should not be collapsed. So for that, you can able to set the maximum limits of each thing. So maximum execution size maximum uh, memory to be used so all these things you can able to set it so apart from setting all these things we have to set the uh, service ip also now as you see that i have a service ip here so that ip i need to specify it so here it is uh, very advantage is here you can able to list out many servers not only one machine you can able to install uh, many machines you can install this method and then you can use it so automatically this virtual programming laboratory will be handling whenever there is a free load in any of this machine so i have done only in one machine if I even you're able to do 10 missions, all the 10 missions uh, IP also I can able to give it here. So this facility, this virtual programming laboratory is having.